welcome to another vlog. Uh, it is Sunday evening. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, Jordan's making some hot chocolate and tea, and we are finally making cookies. We are making just uh, normal Betty Crocker sugar, sh sugar cookies. Off to a great start with the talking. <laughs> and I'm gonna be using. <laughs> I'm going to be using these cookie cutter sets that I got in a previous haul. Uh, these are Disney themed and these are just have uh, Christmas themed ones. So I've been wanting to make these cookies and then on top of it I found these cookie stamps kind of a thing, stencils, um, in one of my drawers and they're Christmas themed as well. So there's going to be a hodgepodge of different cookies. I don't know if we'll be able to make all of them. And on top of it, I have brought back out the uh, stand mixer that I haven't fully figured out how to use 100% yet. So maybe Jordan can figure it out better than I can. Well, maybe I should not plug that. You want seven apple cider? stand mixer I've ever used. Mm. I've always like had the hand mixers or that I can remember. And this just seems like it's taking like longer than I could have just hand like just using a hand mixer. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean do you agree or disagree? You've used a stand mixer before so I don't know. It seemed fine to me once I got it in the right place. But fair, I, I, but, I, don't, I, mean, I don't have a, like a frame, a decent like frame of reference. I've really only ever used a stand mixer for mashed potatoes, not for. Oh, not dough. for baking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's probably because of the letter. Yeah, I'm just going to start just a little skipper. Probably should have taken off my rings for this, actually. I almost never take off my rings, that's for sure. Only for things like this. In soccer. No, well, outdoor, I'll take them off, but indoor, you don't have to. Yeah. Okay. Have you done this before? No. You want to try it? Nope. You don't? Not really. You do a good job. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I'll just stand here and mind the camera. <laughs> My cameraman. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you. I figured out a way to get it to focus when you're not home. And how'd you do that? <laughs> One of my tripods, I kind of reach out, I stand and like press the button. <laughs> it's a genius. It's pretty funny though. Okay. But yeah, I appreciate sure y'all hear our music in the background, which is our laundry. <laughs> It's not that ridiculous. It's a bit ridiculous. It's not that ridiculous. First time we ever heard it, we were like, what the hell is that? Well, my so the old laundry uh, machines that my parents had back at the house that I grew up in did that. It was like newer, newer ones. I've never heard that before. Yeah. Well, I mean, your parents don't have like super brand new uh -huh. washing dryers. Probably the ones that came with the house back when it was built in 2003. Yeah, I can see that. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna roll it right off the counter. 
sticking already. It's sticking just because not enough flour. We'll get some more flour. I know. <laughs> Apparently I need more room than I gave myself. <laughs> cool. I'm pretty sure baker, any bakers that are watching this are probably like, oh my god, she's doing it wrong. <laughs> Possible. I'm only doing it the way that my mama showed me. And even then I could be doing it wrong. <laughs> What do you want to start with? Stamps. You want to do the stamps? Sure. Okay. We got gingerbread. Polar bear. Oh, polar bear. Okay. Reindeer. Penguin and polar bear. Penguin and polar bear. Penguin and polar bear? Yeah. Dog. Duh. Dog. We got the generic ones over here. <laughs> I kind of want to like let it sit before I pick it up. You, want you just do you, honey. You well, you come here and you help me do that. I, I did one. You did one? I did the polar bear. Okay, you want to do another one? Sure. You don't seem really into this. No, I'll do another one. <laughs> you're backwards, you're gangsta backwards candy cane. It wasn't backwards, it was just a, the cutter was upside down. Mm. That's different than it being backwards. There's no such thing as a backwards candy cane. <laughs> Okay, so we ended up picking actually a lot of cookies. The first batch obviously got a little inflated, um, but the next batches weren't so bad. So they're actually pretty tasty too. Excuse you. They are tasty. You've had one? Yeah. What? You've had one? You've had one too. Mine was burnt. <laughs> now we just gotta clean up this mess, which I will need your help for, sir. Eventually, eventually, it's fine. But yes, we do need clean up, silly. Well, I know that. <laughs> We're at 13, right? Mm-hmm, please stop. Hello, good evening. Oh gosh, that's probably terrible lighting. Oh geez, I don't know. Yeah, honestly, I wanna put can lights in here. Like that would be really good. And I do wanna replace like the ceiling fan because the uh, diffuser is actually broke. It's a glass diffuser and it broke. Uh, yeah, so just finished doing laundry and work and uh, been kind of fighting with my computer with editing and stuff. So I just kind of was took that, let that do its thing. Uh, I'm like, I'm like exporting and moving things around and just let that do its thing and I did laundry while well, folded laundry. Jordan was really good about moving the loads and um cleaning up a little bit around here oh i guess i didn't really show you but yeah i moved mirror right here i think that just looks so much better and it'll be a lot more useful um this is actually going to be going away like we're just going to put a regular door it just it just doesn't work for us 
and I, and I think like I like the idea of the barn door, but it's I think for a bathroom it doesn't work. Like I think it'd be cool. Yeah, maybe we can put it like over there or like a barn door to cover the closet. But honestly, I think we may end up with just normal doors in both places. <laughs> I love how this turned out. Um, Got to move the basket and that's Jordan's bag that he needs to move as well. This will get tackled at some point this week. It's gonna be a busy week though. Yeah, tomorrow, oh, that's the other thing. Yesterday I got a splinter and it won't come out. Like, it's like the smallest little bit and it just, it won't come out. We've tried sweet tweezers. I think I just have to like continually soak it in like warm water before I can actually get it to come out. It's really been really annoying, especially with typing. So, I don't know, we'll see. But what was I saying? Oh gosh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh man, um, do you need to clean up a little bit, especially like in here, like in here, I just, this, oh God, this is, this is, this is getting out of control, like truthfully. It's so weird that the light in here is so cool toned. I honestly kind of prefer, I don't know, I just, I would prefer natural lighting, but you know, yeah, this needs to get taken care of. I don't think I'll be able to get to it today, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and yeah, honestly, I don't know, I'll just, I just been like fighting with the computer, so that kind of has delayed a few things, so kind of annoying but Jordan's out getting groceries we were gonna cook this recipe um, that Jordan actually picked out from the like hun like hundreds of recipes that I have it's also something on my to-do list is going through those recipes and really like looking at if I'm actually going to make them or if it's something I want to try and if not just like kind of throw them out and recycle the the paper so that's on a to-do list of like the new year like reset kind of a thing so <laughs> Subscribe and stay tuned for that. Um, there's gonna be quite a few things like that that'll be coming up in the new year. But he's out getting groceries. But anyways, the recipe we're gonna make, unfortunately, like the chicken had to marinate for eight hours, and I didn't know that. So we'll just have to make that marinade for another and do it for another day, maybe like Thursday. And then he's getting us other things as well. We we're gonna do two recipes actually this week of um that he picked that he picked uh from from our recipe books and then also <laughs> milo is also trying to play fetch with me right now it's so funny he, every time like i pick up the camera he just he knows he thinks oh this is time to play fetch <laughs> anyways so uh, we're just gonna have some food and then i'm gonna get to editing and then honestly probably like relax it's been a long day and then um, I'm hoping I can get at least two videos edited or at least mostly edited uh, one up for tomorrow and then another one mostly edited for the next day because tomorrow we're go I'm going to a play with my in-laws and uh, that'll be really cool I was I think I talked about it a little bit we're gonna go see six in downtown and we're gonna have like dinner so I think I've already talked about that I don't know the days are just going by and like this year it's just flying like one I was talking to a friend the other day and they were like, oh, I don't think I'll be able to until the new year. And I'm like, the new year? I was thinking in my head that it was going to be so far away. And it's like, no, ma'am, that's like two to three, two, three, three weeks away. So that was like, whoa there. Um, <laughs> anyways, so I'm going to get back to cleaning up a little bit and then editing.
hello just finished getting ready to go down to dallas and we're going to be going to that play um i got some earrings that i got from target on as well as i put a replica jazz club on and it's really nice smell and um it's not my absolute favorite it's probably my third favorite out of like the replica uh, set that i have here and then i put on the ColourPop. Kate Lux Blur lipstick, which I'll bring with me, but let me show you my outfit. So here is the outfit. I like the really the lighting that's coming through here. So this jacket is from Target. I believe I got it uh, in a previous uh, vlog. And then I have this sweater that I got from Nordstrom Rack a few years ago. Then I have my Levi straight leg jeans on. And then these boots are from Nanomax. And <laughs> I got these a few years ago, so I'm not sure I'll be able to link it. Maybe I'll try to find similar ones, but they're just nice suede boots. Um, these are the first time I'll be wearing heels since my ankle injuries. So this will be interesting, but I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna go um, meet up with my in-laws. We're gonna go to dinner and then we're gonna be uh, off to the play. So So I just got back from the play and with my in-laws and it's actually a really good play. I was definitely surprised just by how like interactive it was with the audience. I was just kind of expecting like just a traditional musical, which was like that was my expectation and wasn't what I was expecting. So I like I was kind of taken off guard like a little bit, but I think it was really good and I am one that knows that story of the six of, of Henry Henry the Eighth's six wives, so I know a lot about it, and I think that was a very interesting take on it. Definitely a lot, a lot of feminism built into it, and I can see where I think the play, like the writer of the play, I think was maybe inspired by Hamilton, and drew from that a little bit, bringing a lot of more modern touches to a historical story, and I thought, yeah, I thought it was good, so yeah. But I'm kind of tired, so I'm going to relax probably the rest of the evening, maybe do a little bit of editing, and then honestly get back at it, get back at it tomorrow. But it was nice to go in to like downtown and do something kind of like festive and different. Um, I maybe said this earlier, but like I used to go to a place like a lot, um, but I just haven't been in a while, and that was kind of nice. So we got to go to dinner downtown. I was like obviously decorated for Christmas, and that was really cool to see. So. Oh man, I'm just gonna be so. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow or I'll check with you guys later. <laughs> again <laughs> this time I'm making dinner and we are gonna be doing a pork loin recipe that Jordan picked out um, I will insert an overlay here of like a close-up so if you want to try it out I'll t and you can take a sh screenshot of it so this recipe I've had for a really long time I'm kind of showing my age here a little bit but uh, this is from people magazine <laughs> my Oma used to have a bunch of people magazines and she I think she is actually technically still subscribed to them but she would get them every week and I would look at them for the fashion stuff or recipes and then at one point she had a bunch of old ones that she didn't need anymore and I was like okay so I started going through and ripping the recipes out just so I can like start getting a cookbook this is like what I'm like high school by the way <laughs> Uh, so I started gathering these recipes and creating my own cookbook so that's where this came from but it is a pork tenderloin with honey mustard sauce 
and I'm gonna get started on it. It's, a, it's an oven one and then actually it's like an oven and skillet one and I think we're gonna either have mashed potatoes or couscous and then like maybe some sort of salad with it but yeah uh, this will be interesting <laughs> That's for sure. Um, I am usually not like a pork tenderloin or a pork loin kind of a girl. Um, I, you know, I enjoy my bacon, um, but it's just not one where I like typically like because I know pork is really hard to cook because it's it can get really dry, and every time I've cooked it, it's been really dry. So we'll see how this goes. But Jordan got this. Uh, Boneless pork tenderloin from Walmart. It's from Prairie Fresh, uh, is the brand. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just kind of give a walkthrough of some of the ingredients here. We got salt and pepper, garlic, shallots, uh, fresh thyme, uh, grapeseed oil, which I've never cooked with, uh, honey, and then oh, forgot to grab Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. Uh, red wine vinegar and yeah and then that's all of the ingredients so it's set I'll do a quick overview so it's baking at 400 for 30 minutes or until the heat thermometer states the meat is at 160 degrees and then it says transfer it to a cutting board and then let stand for 10 minutes so hmm. All right, so I have this out. This is a Pamper Chef stone that I like to cook with. It looks really, really seasoned. It is definitely well loved. Are you guys too far away? I'm not like 100% sure. Maybe I should consume you guys in like, ooh, like a little bit. Hold on. That seems like a little better. <laughs> okay, so actually I'm gonna need a large pan as well. All right, so I am gonna try and make this recipe. <laughs> heating up um Jordan so I guess update it is Friday and in one week exactly we leave for Arizona and Jordan right now is is at practice actually he's on his way home and wow practice went over late hmm. anyways so for tonight like honestly we're just gonna be home because tomorrow uh there's a lot of stuff I want to get done around here I need to finish wrapping one more gift um, I want to like tackle the garage and possibly hang all this. Uh, I want to tackle my room and hang all the stuff I want to hang that have just been kind of there and it's kind of bugging me and it make, it's making the room feel smaller. And so I just want to get them up onto the walls and then I also kind of I want to tackle the garage. I don't know if I'm going to win that battle. Uh, that might be one where I, we just end up doing next week. but. Yeah, our goal actually going into the new year is to, at least mine personally, is to try like a new recipe. I have a ton of like recipes and recipe books and I want to try a new one or do one from there every single week. I have like my staples that I do all of the time like throughout the week because it's just easier and I just remember and they're not hard recipes. So it's just I want to like try new things and maybe find 
like easy ones because I know Jordan actually likes pork he likes pork loin a lot and maybe this one if this one seems easy, like maybe we'll, this will add into our like a rotation. Cause you know, everyone has those like rotations of like recipes that they just use consistently throughout the week when they just don't want to think about it. They know how to cook it. It takes like X amount of time and it's not a fussy thing. So it's just, I don't know. I'm, and also like with my health, I definitely obviously want to cook more and cook from scratch more so making sure I know like what ingredients I'm actually putting in are actually good for me and Jordan wants to do the same too and we want to get a little healthier another reason why I want to tackle the garage is because hi hon Jordan just got home yeah so one of the reasons why I want to tackle the garage is um, one to have me not so cluttered and two there's like mirrors set up in there from the previous owner and we can actually create like a little workout space. Like I have yoga mats that we can use to, you know, work out on. And then I also have an exercise ball that I would like to like inflate and use because it's honestly just been in a pox for the past two years. I haven't really used it much. So that would be nice just to have like a little workout area because it does get really cold here. And I'm not really like a gym person. I'm gonna set this on there. So I gotta turn these every two minutes. And I'll, I'm just like one of those people that actually like working out alone. That's just me, I don't know Jordan, but yeah, that's our goal for the new year is to add more recipes and try a new recipe every week and then get back to working out. How was practice? Good. I need a chocolate shell. So that's not a shell. Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. I might have messed this up. I used the wrong oil for the pan and for the sh uh, cooking sheet. <laughs> it just said oil. Like. It didn't say what shell oil? No. Mm. Should be fine though. Vinegar is a quarter. Mm -hmm. Dummy. Probably had like way more than I needed.
So this has to sit for 10 minutes, so I'm gonna put this stuff away. And then start on the mac and cheese. Okay, while that is resting before I slice it, I'm making these Annie's uh, shells and real age cheddar macaroni and cheese. I got this off of uh, Thrive Market. It's really good mac and cheese, and it doesn't take very long. Here is the pork. It looks really, really juicy and seasoned. The sauce smells really good and it looks really yummy. I honestly think I would want to recreate the sauce for chicken. I haven't tasted it yet, but we'll see how it is. That tastes really good. That tastes really good. Mm, that's gonna be really good. Just gotta wait on the mac and cheese and then we'll be good to go. Cheers to Friday night. Okay, Jordan's cutting in it. See if I, I did good. Looks good. I don't know, this is probably like the second time I've ever cut pork, so you'll have to tell me. <laughs> yeah, looks good to me. Mm. Smells good too. Good. You have to try the, the sauce before I, you drizzle it over. <laughs> you gonna try it without? Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yes, no? That's pretty good, I like that. All right, well. Now, you gotta try the sauce. You can try the sauce by itself. I really like it. <clears throat> and then you gotta drizzle the sauce all over this. Okay, that's good. You're not sure? <laughs> it's interesting. I don't, know. I don't know what I was expecting, but... Uh, for me, I was it was a lot more vinegary than yeah. I was expecting. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of like what I'm, I'm a little surprised by. So what's in it is shallots. Are we drizzling this yeah. on Dri there? You drizzle okay. it on there. Uh, shallots, um, garlic, honey, white wine, Dijon mustard, and red wine vinegar. And thyme. Thyme's in the sauce? Thyme's in the sauce. It's not the exact same color as the uh, the recipe. The recipe is like a lot more red for some reason. So is that more? You want more? Or is that good? That seems good to me. I don't know. What do you think? That seems good to me. All right, mac and cheese is done. So bon appetit. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna try a bite with the sauce on it. Let's see. Ah, that was good school. Yeah. <laughs> My lovely wife, everybody. I never claim to be graceful. <laughs> Ever. I never claim that. I actually like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, there you go. Again, I don't claim to be graceful. Now, yeah, Jordan's like, okay, I want to dig in now. I want food. I'm hungry. Well, I was cooking you dinner. Yeah, and I appreciate that. That's why I didn't go snack while you were cooking. Because that would be rude. I snack while I'm cooking. I do that all the time. No, but you were cooking while you're snacking. Yeah. I would be snacking while I'm not cooking, while I'm not helping out. That's rude. I do that anyways, too. I used to do all the time. Mom would put out chips and salsa, and I sh and she cooked dinner. Like that's what she would. That's one hundred percent what she would do. Right, that's fine. She's the one putting it out. <laughs> but if I were to just go get it, I'm like, no, nah, I can't wait. <laughs> I see that as rude. By the way, this light, like right here, is really good lighting. I just wish it had good lighting over there, <laughs> the dining table. Yeah, that wine's good. <laughs> you got that wine at Walmart, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna eat. Shock salad, that's why I picked that. Yeah. It's a little bit less. Um, we're gonna eat and have a relaxing Friday evening, and then probably get back to projects in the morning before we go play. But I think we're going. We're going to go to Grapevine tomorrow night, right? 
Apparently, I'm just gonna decide. This has yeah. been a hard time. <laughs> We're trying to do something with this family, like before we leave for Christmas, just like. And they leave for Christmas. And they leave for Christmas. Um, and just like do a get together and also give the gifts that need to go with them to Georgia. And no one seems to be decisive on what, what they want to do. And I'm like, I'm throwing things out there like, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. And I'm like, okay, so I think I'm just going to decide. I want to go to Grapevine and do something very Christmassy. Maybe eat at the train station there. Maybe go to the favorite, my favorite winery there. I don't know. I think I'm just going to decide that. <laughs> Fine, <laughs> you know I like Grapevine. Oh, I know. I think your family does too, but why thank you. You're welcome. Dinner is served and my arm is dying. <laughs> Good morning. It is Saturday. Oh, we're just getting some breakfast together. Um, got the coffee brewing and well, honestly, it's going to be kind of a soccer filled day. Same thing with tomorrow. So it's going to be like soccer weekend, but we have some games today and as well as tomorrow, but uh, we're going to take care of some stuff. But beforehand, we're going to take care of some stuff around the house and just kind of clean up a little bit. Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough time to uh, clean the garage today. So that's just going to be a next week thing. And let's see, we're going to, honestly, I think we're going to fix something that's, uh, something in the front uh, yard. And then um, probably I'm going to try to hang stuff in the studio. I don't know if I'm even going to finish that, to be honest. Uh, I'm really excited because tonight we're going to go to Grapevine. I think I mentioned that last night. And just enjoy some Christmas time before we go with uh, my in-laws and then uh yeah it's gonna be pretty much it honestly like i don't <laughs> oh man last night was really nice though the food was really good i like that idea of doing a new recipe and i i like i really like cooking so i'm definitely excited to incorporate that more in my vlogs and then also to just to add some more recipes like i really want to try that sauce on chicken that we tried last night because I think it'd be really really good um uh yeah so that's what's on the docket today look how cozy this little one is we need to make the bed but look at him hey Milo <gasps> hi sweet boy you look so cute right there yes you do it is like super cool it's uh 34 degrees 37 degrees I forgot what Jordan told me uh, outside, so it's a cold one. That's why this one's all snuggled up. Milo! He's just ignoring me now. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, I'm going to go drink my coffee and have some breakfast and then get this day started. Okay, so I'm um, just getting ready to head out to Grapevine, but I figured I'd show you my little outfit. I got my makeup done. Definitely a lot more green accents, but speeding was a gift. It's really, really cute. It's it's actually going to be really cold tonight. Uh, the sweater dress, it's actually a dress. Hold on, let me see if this mirror's better. No, yeah, it's the same. Um, it's a dark green. Let me try to adjust it in editing. And it's actually from Amazon. Then I have Levi's high-waisted jeans. And then these lace-up boots I got, gosh, about four or five years ago. But my loves are here, so we're gonna head out to Grapevine. Also, jacket I'm wearing is the universal jacket that I have been loving. So, gotta go. Grapevine was really pretty. It was very crowded. I I don't think I've been there when it's been that crowded. I definitely haven't. It's 
That was over the top. That was ridiculous. And I, we, we, I think didn't, it, we didn't look into it and see if there was going to be like a, a, thing, a drone right? show. That would, ended up being that there was a drone show going on at around like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Which probably it made sense. But also I didn't know there's going to be a private event for parking. Because normally when we go, we have like zero issues with parking. But the past couple of times we've gone with your family, mm-hmm. it's been awful with parking. Yeah. It, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Yeah. We so, keep saying it's, it's like, there's no problem. We get in in five minutes and we're good to go. And then like every single time we go with my family, it's, it's like, it takes 30, 30 minutes, minutes to find parking. Well, to be fair, we usually go with your family for like the wine fest or like it's a Saturday, it's the weekend before Christmas. So yeah, people are going to have family in town. So they're going to take them to go do stuff. It's just like, keep going in out of I know. <laughs> So it's just yeah. So that was that was a little that was a little much. That was very also very disappointing because I think everyone was already frustrated and tired and just. And we got there a little later, and so some of the stores were closing yeah. or closed early, like closed at six o'clock today. It was one of the stores I was looking at, looking forward to actually going to. So. Yeah. So maybe it's just something like we have to do. Like a midday. Thing. A mid a midday thing, or you go during the week, which maybe we can do this week. Maybe. Maybe. It'd be tough. But yeah, yes. it'll be tough. But uh, so we're we're just gonna kind of relax, and then tomorrow is Soccer Sunday and the World Cup final. So again, <laughs> another like, Soccer Sunday. Another Soccer Sunday. I've just been calling it Soccer Sunday because that's what it just is. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna do that, and then maybe do some stuff around the house and kind of get ready for the week (laughs) and hopefully they'll get the doorbell fix yeah so yeah Mm -hmm. yep yep (laughs) you guys in the morning (laughs) can you tell this one not to be shy (laughs) hey it is sunday morning and we just got back from church and we're gonna grab some lunch and then um have i gotta film i'm gonna um, I'm gonna film before we go to soccer, and then we'll be back to like later this evening. So yeah, so, soccer Sunday, the World Cup final. Uh, I've just finished. It was like they it finished like right when we got back from church, and then we actually ran to Home Depot real quick so Jordan can finish the uh, fixing finish finish fixing the doorbell. <laughs> and yeah, so that's what's the plan today. Nothing like crazy. It is exactly seven days from Christmas, so that's exciting. And then it's six days from when we leave for Arizona, so yeah. It's just nuts. It's just, it's flying by. Like, these last past few weeks have just flown by. Like, I don't know. It's like some things just need to to slow down a little bit, in my opinion. But, all right, so we're going to go, well... I'm gonna go eat some food and then I'm gonna film and then I will see you guys uh, this evening after soccer. I think it was just gonna be like a spa evening where it's like I put do a hair mask, I do a face mask. My uh, I, my skin is definitely feeling a lot more texture because it's been getting really dry. So I think I need to do like a nice exfoliant face mask and then get things together and ready for the week and just kind of relax. Um, hopefully it's going to be a pretty chill week like at both of our jobs so don't have to be too stressed about it and then just kind of get things together and get the house kind of cleaned up and tidy for when we come back and start the new year off on a fresh start i feel like i'm kind of repeating myself a lot in this vlog so i apologize if i am but not much else going on like it's just december just kind of flew right by me and yeah so I'm gonna go eat some food because I'm kind of starving. Oh man. Hello. Don't mind this, Mark. This is from my hat I was wearing earlier. It's just like way too, it was way too tight. Honestly, it was way too tight. Oh man, when I just finished filming, I didn't get to film earlier, so I had to film later. So it just, oh man, that like, that was bugging me though. Like that hurt. So I am, going to take this makeup off and then i'm going to do a face mask and like exfoliant and then i'm going to like do a hair mask and just kind of refresh everything as you can see like my hair is 
looking almost ragged right now. Honestly, I need to go get it like trimmed and just kind of cleaned up a little bit. And then I don't know, I might color. I don't know, I haven't fully decided yet on that. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do that and then just relax the rest of the evening. It's, we are already got laundry going and then it's gonna be chaotic for the next couple of days because I got a lot of work to need to do and I need to get everything ready for the drive out to Arizona. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. So hit the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe for new videos every single week. I have been on my game of multiple videos a week. I'm just so excited and yeah, so I really hope you subscribe if you are new here. And yeah, we do lots of vlogs here, beauty content, lifestyle, you name it. It's kind of hodgepodge over here, as I like to call it. <laughs> yeah, so thank you again for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.